Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm just going to show you a basic recipe, and I'm sure it's everywhere on here, but it's me that's doing this one, so I hope y'all like it. This is just, I'm doing fried chicken legs, um, and what I have got is I've got, I got, believe it or not, I know, you, I hope y'all can see this, I got 13 chicken legs in a pack um, from Kroger's. It was on sale for $2.80. Um, I got five packs of them. If I was going to do um, something for Super Bowl tomorrow, I would use chicken legs instead of chicken wings because wings are so expensive and chicken legs are so cheap. So, what I've done is I've been soaking my chicken in buttermilk and it just gives it a better coating and in my this bowl I've got um, flour and salt and pepper and I took my whisk and mixed it all up together here's my frying pan this is an awesome frying pan and you have to see if I can show you how big it is it's really really big and I've got the oil in there coming up to temperature. And so, what I'm going to do, let me make sure that you can see, yeah. I'm just going to take a leg out and put it in the, the flour. Make sure that it's coated real good. And the buttermilk really does um, help with the the flour staying on the chicken leg and so I'm not going to do it I'm not going to double crust this because I'm just trying to get these cooked and have us something for dinner so I've got my oil All right so you just take the chicken leg out of the buttermilk put it in the flour use your hands one hand and get the flour all over your chicken leg and I've my oil I've got it hot so that it'll have a good crust on it because I want these to be crispy just make sure that then you just kind of hit your chicken leg on the the bowl and get the some of that on and I'm putting the chicken legs in the pan like one goes one way and the other goes the other way. And I'm going to have this stuff all over my hands. But that's okay. These chicken legs are going to be amazing. And I used kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper in the flour. That way I don't have to flour, um, salt them and pepper them in the pan or whatever. And I used canola oil in my um, frying pan. That's what I'm using. So every other one's gonna go one way and every other one's gonna go the other way. And you're gonna get this stuff all over your hands. There's just no way to do it and do do it with, without getting it all over you unless you really are in a have a lot of time and can use a the um, tongs and do it like that, but you just do it. Use my fingers and do it. All right, so this one will go this way, and I'm gonna have to do two batches, but that's okay because I've got I'm making mashed potatoes and corn, and I gotta do all still still the potatoes and everything. And I just like, we all love chicken legs around here, especially the kids. And my oldest daughter, she likes chicken legs too. So when I saw these, and it was like four packs of chicken legs and three packs of chicken thighs. And they were all, no more than $3. They were all in around $2. I got, um, I think it was like five or six packs of them. So, I'm going to go on and get these started, and I'm just showing you now what you, you just 
Make sure that you dip it all in the flour, and I'll bring you back in just a little while. Alright, I just wanted to bring you back and tell you that I've got all 13 of them in the, the frying pan, and I'm frying them now, and I'm not going to turn them until they're really crispy on one side, so you just have to do it cooking them. You have to just kind of watch it and get it to the color that you want, and all I've got this on, my frying pan is on medium high. I don't have it on high. I've got it on medium high. So I'm just letting this cook. And my daughter's going crazy because she hates the, the smell of um, oil, cooking oil. And when I fixed those egg rolls the other day, she um, talked about it for two or three days how she couldn't stand the smell of it. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to have some good chicken legs, whether she can stand the smell of it or not. So I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, I'm back. These have been cooking for about 30 minutes. And I'm going to cut them down to just medium now. I've cut them over. I mean, turned them over two or three times. And the skin's coming off of some of them. Here's one that the skin's come off of. And here's one. And here's one. And whatever. It, the skin is down in here. <laughs> and so anyway... I'm cutting them, cutting them down to medium now, and I'm just going to let them cook until I know they're done. And so, like I said, it's been about 30 minutes now, so um, probably another 15 minutes. So, I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, I'm back. Um, here's the chicken. I let it fry for an hour, and it looks like it's just falling apart. Here's a piece of it. I'm going to taste it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And I had a lot of crispies too. See the crispies? <laughs> mm. This is so much better. <laughs> and you could do these for Super Bowl weekend or any weekend and make them fry them and then put the stuff on them and have them a little crispy and do just like chicken wings. So anyway, I'm going to fix my plate and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. And here's my dinner. Here's my chicken with my <coughs> buttermilk crispies on it. Mm. This is just so good. Someone asked the other day about my diabetes, and the last time I had my um, A1C checked, it was 6.2, and so I don't check it at home anymore because it was so good, and she took me off of, I was on metformin twice a day, she cut it down to one time a day, so probably the next time I go back, it'll be up. Um, but I'm not eating out. I'm trying to fix good stuff. Um, this is two starches and then the bread and the, um, breading on here. Yes, I know, but I am sparging a little bit tonight. I wanted some fried chicken, so that's what I'm fixing. And, um, let me take a bite of this chicken. Mm. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Mm mmm, mmm. So good. It's easy to fix any kind of fried chicken. All you do is get you some buttermilk, soak your chicken in the buttermilk, then put it in the flour, and then put it in your oil and fry it until it's done. And you can pretty much tell when it's done, it starts kind of falling apart. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a wonderful night. Bye.